is uh, Mr. D M N C S Vishnayaka, and there's a co-presenter K M A D Abro. Mm. The subject is household utility robo, and uh, I <laughs> missed it. Vishnayaka. Pardon? Ah, Miss Abro. Okay. Abru, please wait. She is the course uh, to introduce her. She is a student of Kotalawala Defence University, Katmalana. She is following a bachelor degree in computer science and now she is in her second year. She is a web developer and a programmer. She is devoting an increasingly large amount of her time to software-related work and web development. Her research interests lie in the area of programming languages and web development. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, session Chair, Professor A.K.Y.W. Pereira, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to all of you. It is very interesting to see the speed of the development of technology around us and, and the way it affects the human life. Today we are here to present about the household utility robot. This research work was done by SIDC Roshan, the MNCS Disanayaka, LHS De Silva, AG Jayasundara, KMAD Abru, the MR Kulasekara, and Professor A.S. Karnananda. Next, we move on to the content of the presentation. Contents are introduction, objectives, related research, design, main features, architecture, and conclusion. First, the introduction. In today's technology-centric world, technology has changed the way people do things in their workplaces and at homes. All of them try to do their work in a faster and easier way without any fuss. But in reality, when we're doing those work, everyone faces difficulties. As you can see in the picture, people may feel difficulties when reaching heights, uh, unreachable places to humans, and dangerous places. And by using this household utility robot, we can save three important factors. The first factor is the time. As time is more precious in today's busy world, the people who save time may get more benefited. And then second factor is the energy. If we can save someone's energy by applying alternative methods, then it will be very valuable. And the last factor is labor. When doing household activities, most of the people tend to hire laborers. It may cost money. So by using this machine, it will be help humans in their daily work by saving time, energy, and labor cost. And when we consider about the aim and objectives, the research project's aim is to develop a portable robot in order to provide special assistant to people when engaging in household routines. When we consider about the objectives, we decided several objectives to be achieved by the end product. Those are developing a robot with the capability of moving horizontal and vertical. The ma machine must be low cost and less complex. And the device must be easy to use. The vertical and horizontal displacements of robot head needed to
Thank you, Madhuri. Then we are moving into the related research part of our hardware, so, sorry, household utility robot. Uh, for the project, uh, we have done several researches, including studying uh, conference papers published by other institutions and people, and searching internet and finding information about the background of basically the horizontal and vertical movement of the device. As you all know, this is a technology-centric world. Everything is decided by the technology. During the last several years or the decade, several TV operated systems have been designed in order to uh, meet the horizontal and vertical direction needs. According to the related research done by us, most of the wall painting robot used in modern, uh, modern era in companies like uh, construction industry, uh, vehicle industry, and all those things, uh, some of those devices only could do horizontal or the vertical motion, not both. And they are limited to a certain type of range or a boundary. So we studied uh, the related research and we jot down several points of those related research. As the first one, the exterior wall painting robot by Kajima Construction in Japan. As you can see in the picture, it is running on a vertical mast. It can be used to paint high-rising walls or the building in the construction industry. And the main drawback of that system was it could only move in the uh, vertical direction, not the horizontal direction. Then the IC construction wall painting robot, the, as the picture suggests, it is a good machine to paint walls, but the, uh, it could do both horizontal and vertical motion uh, through a vertical mast and a horizontal crossing rail. The main drawback of that system was it could only move within a certain range or a within certain boundary. And the other things we have studied that most of the aircraft industry, automobile industry and the ship manufacturing industries used this horizontal and vertical movement of the machines to do, get done their work. Then we are moving into the design part of the household utility robot. When we are designing the robot, we use three main ideas. The first idea was to use a cylindrical metal bars connected in a vertical plane, connected with a stepper motor or for the two directional motion. This can be used in either vertical direction motion or the horizontal directional motion. This design seems to be very stable. As we all know, the forklifts use this scenario, reliable, and it is accurate when lifting weights. The second idea considered. As you can see, the wrench cables. Wrench cables are made with metal. They are very stable. They can be used to lift uh, very lift uh, higher weights. The tension occurring at the cable will lift the weight. Uh, the method seems not stable because the force is not distributed evenly. The third idea, the third idea was to use threaded hard plastic. Hard plastic is used in modern world very much. Uh, there consists two main parts, the pinion gear and the rack gear. Those gears are connected with those strip plastic. And this is, this is having a very accurate path. Uh, this can move uh, large weights, but the, uh, we considered it for our project, but uh, it, it must use two motors to control those gears. So we decided on the first one. Uh, to use for its uh, vertical uh, metal bars connected uh, by, uh, by a motor. From those uh, three ideas, we decided to use the first one. Then we are moving on to the design part of the basic controller architecture. The mains power, 12 volt current is supplied, direct current. The voltage regulator will distribute the current over the resistors to the control board and the two motors, horizontal motor and the vertical motor. There are two IR sensors in the upper side and the lower side of the horizontal moving bar will give the signals to identify the obstacles coming in the way 
and it will be given, the signals will be given to the PIC 16F877A microcontroller. The main reason we use the PIC 16F877A is which is that it is very cheap to buy and easy to program. The motor controller L293D will control the motors, two stepper motors, horizontal motion motor and the vertical motion motor. And here is the simulation done using Proteus simulation software. The hardware components of the utility robot are depicted here. The user has control over two buttons, the up button and the right button. When the user presses up the button, the signal will be sent through the peak, resulting in the movement of the vertical movement motor. Pressing the right button will activate the horizontal movement motor, as we can see. Then the main features of the robot. There are four main features of the robot. First one is the horizontal and vertical movement. This is basically about horizontal and vertical movement. 